Alright, so we're at the caretaker's quarters, and we're going to continue our quest through Kudevka. Uh, now, where we last left off, I'd gone through, gone over, and locked me upside. I had gone over some of the battle uh, schematics uh, about dexterity, stuff like that. I think I might have gone over it wrong. That's a big old problem for Jesse. Uh, because, to be honest, I was a lot. A lot. A lot. Oh my god. I was very nervous about my first capture card recording. Uh, all things considered, I really was nervous about how it was going to come out. You know, uh, it was my first time really, like, seriously syncing up. And we got some bread! Uh, syncing up audio and video and trying to fix, like, colors on the picture and blah, blah, blah. Oh, we got a nice little battle here. You know? let's, let's, let, let's take it on! I, I will probably start editing these out, uh, although I'm not sure. I'm just not sure, man. I'm just, just not sure what I'm doing. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing, but I'm just uh, not sure. Chair. Do I have any weapons? A normal nut. Nah, he'll stick with fair hands for now. Fuck it. Move him over here. And we shall quit. Oh boy. Chair assault! Fuck. Alright, take a step up. And punch him in his shit. Nice! I don't know what that thing is. Let's start using the flare spell, shall we? Burn. Are you dead? Oh yeah! Suck it, suck it now! I'm gonna rock the shit out of this. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? No, 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 no. Action, magic, and flare. I really just want to start leveling that spell up because there's a boss coming up. Spoilers! There's a boss coming up that's going to be weak against fire. So we're definitely gonna want to, uh... Yeah, no. Be prepared. I didn't even watch how much damage that did. Let's wait. What is this? Oh, shit. He's increasing his, uh... His ability. In what way, though? His attack points, I'm assuming, is what he just increased. And let's punch him in the shit! Ugh! Right in your shit. Alright. You can't attack... I think James is in the way. Or Edward's in the way, I'm sorry. Yes, there we go. Shoot him. Are you down for the count? Perfect. Simply perfect. Simply, simply perfect. Any level ups? Nothing? Oh, yeah! Okay, so real quick, we're going to go over this one more time. Strength is your attack. Vitality is your HP slash defense. Dexterity is your accuracy. Uh, agility is your speed. Intelligence is your magic attack. Piety is your MP and magical defense. Mind is your magical accuracy. And luck is your luck. So that, my friends, is the minor breakdown. Because again, I am not sure... Let's take one from there and add two into that. I'm not sure how I broke it down to you guys, and I'm sure I was probably rambling like an idiot. Oh, nice. Yeah, I was probably rambling like an asshole when I went through all of that, so now you guys have the, uh, the pleasure of listening to nothing. Okay, we have normal knife. We have two normal knives. Hmm. Guess we're going with just the normal knife. Keep him equipped. Equipped. Even though some people say equipped. I don't get why people say equipped. But, you know, whatever. So we got the bread. Alright, uh, is there anything else? Come on. I don't think there's much up here. For now, anyway. Oof. Damn, bitch. You got cat-like reflexes. Okay. 
Kudelka is an interesting game. It's an interesting freak ass game that I find freak ass because you know freak see freak ass. You know what I mean? All right, let's get our little let's get a little secret here. What's this? We found a Dirk. Yeah, no, don't take that fucking Dirk. Give it to me. Let's check it out. And our items, weapons. It's a water Dirk. That is fucking awesome. That really is awesome. But the next boss, I don't think I'm going to equip it. Even though it increases everything for now, because the next boss, I think, is very strong against water. Uh, if I remember correctly, don't, don't, you know, again, this is, this is all off the top of my head. We'll take the list. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, various, various objects piled haphazardly everywhere. Anything through here? Hmm. Yes. We got some more pistol rounds. That's good. We need some pistol rounds. You know what I've been getting into lately, guys? Uh, Resident Evil. I've been in like a freaky ass mood, like Parasite Eve, Resident Evil, Kudelka game mood. You guys have any other games that I should, you know, possibly consider? Huh? Anything, guys? No? Nothing? Thanks a lot. Alright, action, magic. Let's keep using flare. I'm not the shadow beast is. It's a pain in my ass. Oh, it's a gigantic ball sack. I have to change the resolution on my TV because it's coming out perfectly fine in the uh, rendered stage, but the actual my you know my TV the the picture's too dark I think for this game. I have to increase that. I have to make it better. All right, action! I guess we're just attacking. It's the normal knife. God damn! Oh, Edward! Edward's mad beast, son. Mad beast. Kudelka's my mage. Uh, the way I stick with it, Kudelka's my black mage, Edward is my fighter. He is a fighter. Ra oh wow, we got rags. Very nice. Very fucking nice. We got some rags. Now, rags may not look like much, but there you go. Increases piety and luck, which we're going to give to Kudelka because, you know, we want her to have that MP. Now, that's not a, a, a normal drop. It's really not. So, well, let's save real quickly. Quickly now. I normally don't get rags, which is odd. Usually I get to the first boss without even so much as having any armor. Which is cool. I'm, I'm perfectly okay with having armor for this part. But yes, this is a more solemn, dark game, so, you know, jokes will be kept to, uh, to a minimum. Well, not really a minimum, but, you know... You guys know what I'm saying here. Try to take it seriously. Anything here? It's being held by a mysterious fucking force. Are you kidding me? Let's get the hell out of here, then. I don't think we have anything else to do or see here. Or fight. Son of a bitch. It's at night. There's knights in this fucking monastery? Alright. Let's defend Fidelka. Because I'm not sure if I explained in the previous episode, uh, wherever your character is, opponents as well as enemies, it's, you know, it works the same for them, they can't breach that point. So, if Edward's up front, unless they knock Edward back, they actually can't get to Kudelka. Just a little tidbit for you guys to know. Burn, bitch! And I will have to do, obviously, leveling up off screen and stuff like that. So you guys are bored while you guys entertain. And attack. Ugh! Bitch! Oh, he's still alive. That's, that's not fun. Oh god, Glass Demon. 69 HP! Again? Ah, oh, fuck me! Man, this is fucking... Edward's not... Edward, you are... You are not feeling good right now. He's paralyzed too? Alright, let... No, not Flair. Are you fucking stupid? Uh, action, magic, heal Edward. 
Don't, you know, Kudelka will heal from time to time. Please, God. There we go. Very nice. Thank you, Kudelka. Let's move her over a little bit. Get a good shot at this guy for next turn. I know, you're gonna stab him and you're gonna paralyze. You know, you're not helping me. Fucking glass demon. What are we even supposed to be? Like a horse demon that merged with. I don't even know what you are! Alright, smack the knight, because that's who we've been attacking so far. Give him the punch! Is he dead? Oh yeah! And we're gonna move you slightly to the left. God damn it! It's alright, everything's okay. We're we're gonna we're gonna live through this. Let's move you up now. Get you closer to Edward in case he needs some backup with items. Oh god damn it. Okay, let's use our pistol rounds. You're just gonna attack Edward. Uh nice, knocking back a step. Now we're gonna move you this way. Which still keeps Kudelka protected. And that thing will have to waste a turn moving, I believe. Unless he has magic, so we'll move Kudelka back here. Hey, you're gonna waste your turn, bitch? You're gonna waste both your turns? Because apparently you have that much agility? Alright, Edward, move in for the kill. Granted, I don't know if this is actually gonna kill him. I really don't know. Oh, guys, I'm having an interesting time at work. Got to fill you guys in on this one. Uh, turns out one of my bosses is a really big religious zealot and is trying to uh, convert everyone. Yeah, it's kind of like a cult thing going on. Yeah, it's getting really fucked and uh, I'm really starting to get a little, a little weirded out. Starting to get weirded out. Oh, nice! Okay, so Edward, go with strength, vitality, increase that HP. Um, his dexterity will do next. We'll pump two into agility so he can start moving a little more. There you go. That's what Edward is just going to be an attack beast. We're going to start as soon as possible. We're going to start working on swords for Edward. That will come in handy much later in the game. Just, uh, you know, doing a little preemptive striking at this point. Hmm, okay. Let's head down the steps. But yeah, I've been I have really enjoyed like these freaky ass games, guys. I haven't really played Parasite Eve, so I might eventually end up doing like a blind run of that. I need the second one though too. I have the first one. Spider! I fucking hate bugs. Ugh, I fucking hate bugs. Oh god. Oh look at it jump. Oh god. Okay, let's move. Get all up in Kudelka's business. Punch him in shit. Punch! Damn, Edward. Nice not kidding around. Alright. Kudelka, you're gonna shoot. Oh no, it's not. I knew it wasn't gonna be dead. That would have been too much if it died. Alright, waste your turns. Oh no, attack Edward. That's always fun. Dirty skank. Just attack back. Take him out. There we go. Nice and to death. Just the way I like it. This game has a lot of meaning to me. Oh, let me tell you the story about how I fucking... Th I got this game. It was the weirdest... Oh, we got some bread. The way I got this game was so weird. Uh, it had just come out, and I didn't even know it existed. And I went to school... And I came home, and my mom was like, hey, I got you a game. And I'm like, okay, thanks. She goes, yeah, I know you like them RPGs. And I went to GameStop, and the guy was like, oh, this is new. Oh, wait, no, shh, sh story can continue later. There's an old couple in the room, Ogden and Bessie Hardman, who say they are the caretakers of the Nemeton Monastery. This might be a, 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 a cutscene, so I'm going to mute my mic. How unusual that you two have decided to come to our rural district. There's really nothing interesting here. It has gotten so cold outside. We weren't expecting any visitors. The soup is all we have. Please, 
Have as much as you want. Oh, yes. Please. Thanks. It smells great. Wouldn't you like some, dear? Don't you like potato soup? No. It's not that. I'm all right for now. Thank you for your hospitality, though. <laughs> no trouble at all. Please let me know if there's anything we can do. We are the only ones who live here, and it's so rare that we get any visitors. So are you two really the only ones who live here? Why do you ask? Well, it was pretty foggy, so I couldn't tell for sure. But this building looked like an old church or something. It seems a little big just for the two of you. You're right. In the ninth century, a saint from Ireland named Daniel Scotius built a place of worship here to appease monsters and evil spirits. That was how the Nemerton Monastery started. Or so I heard. Monsters. Is that right? Yes. What about them? You might not believe this. But we saw a monster on our way here. Is that so? You saw it too? You mean... That monster's been around for a while? Well, we've been taking care of the monastery for a number of years. But from about six months ago, monsters have been appearing. We see them more and more every night. Monsters! I used to be a sailor. I'm not afraid of any monsters. Oh, dear. What if something terrible happens to you? We almost got killed back there. Now we're out of bullets. That's not good. The monsters might try and attack you again. I'll spare you some bullets. Thanks. That'd be great. Looking after others. He's so wonderful at that. So, have you two been together long? <laughs> yes. Quite a while. Now, all he does is paint and maintain this old building. That's his daily routine. But back in the old days... Thanks, Ogden. I owe you one. Why are these two old couples just okay with the fact that there's monsters running around the building? Seems a little suspicious. It's been locked with a red key. It's a little suspicious to fucking Captain Exodus here. Alright, let's head into the kitchen. Head up the steps that are here. Loading, loading, loading. Oh boy. Now this would make good rations. Let's take some with us. I can't believe it. Are you still hungry? I didn't have anything to eat or drink for three days. Of course I'm hungry. Speaking of which, you wasted all of that food. What's wrong with you? Yeah, if it weren't poisoned, then I would have had some. What? Pardon? I said, if the soup weren't poisoned, then I would have had some. Got it? Poison. <laughs> no way. Just a little bit. I smelled some poisonous plant. What's that? Oh. Um, I can tell you how you're going to feel. In about half an hour, you won't be able to move your body. If you don't find an antidote, you'll definitely die. Uh, so they really were trying to kill us. Uh, but why? Don't know. But it seems they're quite used to doing it this way. <laughs> they must be hiding something. Listen, Edward. I'm going to try to cure you now. But you have to promise that when I do, you won't get mad and rush back to that couple right away. It's safer if we pretend we're dead and continue exploring this building. I think we'll find something interesting for sure. And remember, keep on laughing.